everybody? Today we've got a fusion of Pacific and Chinese. We're gonna go to some of the best Pacific Island places in Auckland and I wouldn't be able to do this alone. So we've got fellow YouTuber, hello Harriet, joining us for this episode. Hello, hi guys. Thanks for having me on today, Peter. So can't wait to dig into some Pacific Island food and for you to try some Tongan food as well. Yeah, I can't wait for that. On this episode, we're gonna start off with a classic Tongan takeaway where we get some taro, some green bananas, luau, and also keke. From here, we head over to Blue Rose where they make some legendary palu sami pies and some more cake. Finally, we wrap things up with a restaurant influenced by the Pacific flavors, Kai Pacifica. You guys are currently at Pacific Takeaways. Super excited, this is our first stop and it's also breakfast. Harriet's gonna take us around this delicious foods. <laughs> so here we've got Lu Sipi. How much does this weigh? This probably weighs like a good kilo. kilo <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Famous Tongan dish. It's taro leaves wrapped in coconut cream oh. with lamb and onion. It's oh, so man, that rich. Sounds so good. <laughs> so rich and good. <laughs> Like how many people does this normally feed? Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. Two or three. <laughs> Let's dig in. Alright, let's get in for that first bite. Let's see what the flavors are like. Whoa. Yeah? It's like such a hearty dish. Yeah, it's very hearty. Yeah. You get so much lamb flavor. And there's like a nice broth underneath and you can feel that all the bland flavour has soaked into there as yes. well. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And then there's a nice subtle hint of flavour from the taro leaf. And because it's been steamed, it kind of reminds me of a hangi. So good. Really good. This is one of my favourite dishes. So yeah, there's like onion and there's a bit of coconut cream inside. Heaven. <laughs> Let's go in for um, maybe some of these classic taro and green banana as well. Mm -hmm. It's like a perfect replacement for rice. Yeah, in our culture, we normally eat like everything with rice, like tons Every, of rice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in your culture, it'll be like everything with like taro, right? Yeah, starchy kind of food. Taro, potato, kumara, banana, yam. Yeah, so a lot of starch. Yeah. A lot of carbs. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get in for some of this green banana as well. Is this normally a dessert? I no. Know what, no. We eat it with. Food. So we'll eat green banana with chop suey, or we'll eat it with raw or raw fish. Right. So it's like you eat it with, you, yeah, it complements. Good, because that's else. how I've always eaten it as well, and yeah. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right. No, like, I'm doing it right, I'm doing it right. <laughs> the flavours in green banana are not quite what you expect. It's not like super sweet or anything. It's like good starchy, and just a subtle hint of flavours from the coconut cream as well. It's really good. And it's just slightly sour because it's not a ripened banana. Wow, you're describing it so well. I'm just like an one. <laughs> this is probably um, the thing that I've been most excited to try, the chop suey. Mo and Willie used to teach me that um, in uh, like Samoa and Tonga, there used to be like some Chinese people who came in from the war and they just stayed here. Yeah. And like this is the heritage of chop suey. Yeah, like that's, yeah that's so true. Yep. Because there's no vermicelli growing from trees or growing <laughs> from the ground, so yeah. Man, that is the perfect thing to have for breakfast. <laughs> it's like slightly salty, got a real strong kick from the onions, and then it's all blended in together with the meat and the veggies. Oh, perfect. So for our morning dessert, guys, we're having um, keke isite, which is Tongan cakes. But yeah, Peter, you must do the honors. <laughs> it's very warm, right. very warm. Fresh out the oven. Let's see what's inside these things. Oh, look at that. Sugar flour and fried goodness. Let's see how it tastes. The flour inside is like super soft, kind of like eating a. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was such a delicious first meal. So full, so full. So, <laughs> Peter, this is like one of my favorite places to come and get Tongan food. Like, the little sushi we had, chop suey. Talo, banana, and keke isite. So, what did you, what do you reckon? Oh man, the lucipi was just like that was such an amazing experience for me. There was so much flavor in there, so much nutrition from all the <laughs> different yeah. emergence of all the meat and all the taro leaves as well. I loved it. Good yeah. hearty breakfast, tongue and style. <laughs> yeah. Right now, we've just left South Auckland, had some delicious meals for breakfast, and we're heading over to Blue Rose, which I've heard makes some great palusami pies. I'm so excited to try these palusami pies. I've never had one before, so Peter, I trust you. And 
Harry, before we dig into that, do you want to talk more a little bit about, you know, the Hollytube movement and a little bit about your channel too? Yeah, so um, I'm a vlogger um, and as Peter mentioned, there's a Polytube movement going on. So it's just got to do with all the Polynesian vloggers here in Auckland and we've got an event coming up where we're just celebrating and celebrating being content creators pretty much. That's yeah. The gist of it. Yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's like the awesome thing about New Zealand, eh? Because there's like so many different cultures and things like that and mm. so many different movements, but. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Diverse. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> The inside of the palusami pie is just like the loose sippy, only instead of lamb, you've got corned beef. Cheers! Cheers! That is so good. The, the pastry of the pie is really nice, like the way it complements the lul, because the lul and the, the corned beef is like very rich. Mm. So the pastry of the pie just like encases it. It's so good. I'm really impressed by this first pie already, so off to a great start. Next up, Harriet and I try some oil cake from Cheers! Cheers. Speechless. <laughs> it's just so good. Very velvety. I think they've got like salmon, coco, the cocoa in it. Yeah, it's a little bit yeah, better. Yeah. yeah. This that we thought was cream. It's kind of creamy but kind of moussey as well at mm. the same time. It was just the perfect accomplice to this chocolate cake. We just wrapped up an amazing meal here at Blue Rose. We were just talking to Lenny and Robbie, who are the owners here. Lenny's actually in Maori descent and Robbie's from Cook Island descent. So yeah, this, you guys need to come and check out Blue Rose Cafe in Sandringham. It's a fusion of Pacific Island food. Great company, great vibes, awesome pies. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. More food to come after this quick little break. Fun fact! Tonga is the only monarchy in the South Pacific. And 7.5% of New Zealand population is Pacific Island. <laughs> the Cook Islands and Inuwe, they use New Zealand currency. How cool is that? There are 11 countries in the Pacific Islands and New Zealand isn't actually one of them. currently here at Kai Pacifica and cannot wait to eat at this place. We just got our drinks. I've got the famous Otai drink and it's watermelon, coconut infused. Oh, that's so good. Very refreshing, very light, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so the first dish has arrived, it's the ikamata. And which literally means raw fish, raw doesn't fish. it? Yeah. So we got some tuna meat that's been sitting inside coconut cream and lemon. And the magic thing is lemon will actually cook that tuna meat. And you've got a whole bunch of spring onions in there too. Oh. Oh wow. That's <laughs> delicious. Fish is so fresh. And then you can taste the zest from the lemon. And then it's all wrapped in a nice coconut cream as well. I'm it's amazing. In. I'm going in, Peter. I need to try this. Oh, there's a burst of like the zest in the yeah. memo. Mm. Next up, we try a special Cook Island goat curry, which got its heritage from southern India. Oh, wow. Like, I love goat as a curry meat. Yeah. Because there's so much flavor. Yeah. And then it's balanced by all the spices as well. And the curry itself has a super mild flavor because there must be coconut cream in there. It smells good. Yeah, it I wish you guys really had like <laughs> smell of vision right now. Oh, that's beautiful. It's got that soul food vibe, Definitely. but it's, it tastes so good, so rich. Mm. Our final dish is a beautiful pork belly with crispy skin, eggplant puree, and some fancy cauliflowers. Right, and get in for that bite now. Oh, it's so crispy. The smoky flavor in that is beautiful. Oh, that is so tender. Yeah, that hint of smokiness, so it does, it tastes like it was like cooked underground, like almost style, but in the kitchen, so good. Wow, 
massive thumbs up to this place. I am so impressed by all the dishes that we had today. Mm. That wraps up a delicious day of eating Pacific food. Thank you so much for joining us, Harriet. Peter, I am stuffed. This whole day we've just been eating and eating and <laughs> eating. Yeah. Oh, what man. was your favorite thing of the first place? The first place is definitely the lu, the, the lu sipi at oh, the yeah. Tongan Pacifica takeaways. Yeah, just that rich creepiness of taro leaves and lamb. Thank you for so introducing good. that yeah, to us. That was so I'm glad good. You tried it. Yeah. <laughs> and then having it in the blue rose palusami pie. Oh yeah, man, that, that was, was so, so good. good. <laughs> so good. Oh, and even the Samoa cake was just yeah, amazing. Yeah, with the Samoan coco, like that was different, but it was beautiful. It Such was a beautiful, beautiful cake. Yeah. And then to wrap everything up, we had a fantastic meal here at Kai Pacifica, and wow, the ikamata was just sensational. It yeah. was like, like that's always been one of my favorite dishes anyway, but they just do it so well here. Yeah. I think my favorite dish so far has definitely been the pork. Like it tastes like it was like like a, a roast spit and the umu like making that in the kitchen that smokiness that tenderness is so good <laughs> so good guys so good yeah and if you guys want to see harriet back on the channel as well please make a comment down below and be sure to check out her channel too thanks peter thank you so much for having me on today <laughs> and shout out to yen behind the camera thank you so much see you guys bye Hope you've all been enjoying this Pacific Island feast! Oh, my bum touched the ground. <laughs>